welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Strawberry Fields collection from Colourpop. They sucked me in on this one and I bought almost everything in that collection. So I'm here to share it with you today and let you know my thoughts. No more preamble. I'm just going to jump straight into this one. Let's start with the eyeshadow palette. This is the Strawberry Shake palette. And honestly, what got me on all of these products is the packaging. Honestly, that was the first eye-catching thing for me was just how stinking cute this packaging is. And it carries over onto the actual product itself. So there you have it, a nice little silver embossing with the shade names on the back as well as on the inside of the palette. Now, I wouldn't just buy it strictly for the packaging alone. This color story is right up my alley. I love super warm, like pinks and red eyeshadows. I love them. I find them to be very flattering on my eye color and they really just bring out the green that's in my eyes. So, and also they're pink. I, I will always have a soft spot for pink. So this one retails for $12. There are three shades in here that are considered to be not intended for immediate eye use. Those are the shade up here called My Milkshake, the one in the middle, which is Take a Sip, and the one directly underneath it, which is Daiquiri. Now, thankfully, unlike the orange palette, these are not glitters that are not eye safe. This is likely to do with the fact that they are bright pink, intense colors. They're probably pressed pigments and they're probably going to stain a little bit. Um, this is my first time. Is it my first time? This is my second time wearing it, but I don't recall any staining. Now, this is my first time wearing that super bright shade right in the middle, but I don't recall any staining. For today's eye look, I brought in shades from this palette as well as one of the other products that is in the collection. This is the Take A Bite Jelly Much Shadow in the shade Strawberry Jelly. There are two colors to choose from. There's Strawberry Jelly and Strawberry Jam. Strawberry Jam is a little bit more of a golden pink kind of color, and I did not pick that one up. I just stuck with one. The reason for that, although the other one was very pretty, I have another Jelly Much Shadow that I bought probably in the springtime, like maybe around April, and it has already dried out. So these are products that I don't need a bunch of them hanging around because I'm just not going to get to use them before they dry out. So this one is Strawberry Jelly. So that is what is on my lid. For my transition shade, I went in with the shade Woke and just used that on a fluffy brush just to blend it all in above the crease and towards the brow bone. To deepen up the crease, I used the shade Take a Sip, that bright pink one in here. And this one does have like a hint of micro glitter in it. Once it was blended out, I didn't see it in my crease, but I think if you packed it on your lid with a different kind of brush, it might translate a little bit better in that regard. For my lower lash line and to deepen up the outer corner a little bit, I used the shade Daiquiri down here inner corner is this brighter one over here called Delish. Now I haven't had an opportunity to use all of these eyeshadows yet. I just recently received this and really just wanted to share with you some of the swatches and show you the colors that are available in this collection. Um, so I haven't used all of them so I can't really do a full review per se. This is really more of a show and tell kind of video if you will. But from what I have used in here these shadows are very consistent with their other shadows in previous palettes. So you're not going to get any surprises in here. There's no super dusty mattes. There's no shimmers that just fall flat or that are completely uncooperative. These are very much your standard, what you would expect shades from ColourPop and they perform as well as any of the others that I've tried. Let's just do some really quick swatches here and I will show you the shimmers to start off with. So this one over here, this one is called Berry Fine. This one up here is Delish. And then on this finger over here is the shade Whipped. 
Going into the mattes, we have Paper Straw, Woke, and My Milkshake. Last but not least, we have Take a Sip, Daiquiri, and Shake It Up. On my finger here is the Jelly Much Shadow, and again that one is in the shade Strawberry Jelly. I have to say that one thing I really like about this palette is that it is quite diverse. I have found that in some of their monochromatic palettes, there's not a lot of like discrepancy between the shades, whereas here everything kind of stands on its own and you're not getting any real overlap in the tones. They all bring something new to the, to the table, which I think is important when you only have nine shadows to work with. You don't need very slight gradients. You need things that can all work together, but that cover different bases. And I think that this palette definitely nails that. With regards to the Jelly Much, like I said, I did have one that dried out really quickly. I don't know if that's the standard because I've only ever had one before. If you've had one and you find that they dry out quickly or don't dry out quickly, please let me know down below in the comments so that we can all see and learn from that. But what I can say is these are quite easy to work with. I just pick it up with a little bit, like a little bit of the product on a brush and just blend it over my lid. There is a little bit of creasing with them, but the color payoff does stay there throughout the day. So if you use it over a stickier base, that would probably help to prevent the creasing. I just didn't use any sort of primer today because I really wanted to see what it would do without the primer, and there is a little bit of creasing with it. Moving on to cheek products, there are two different kinds in this collection. So one are the pressed powder blushes, and then they also have a blush stick duo. I only bought one of the blushes, there are two available. I picked up the shade Seed You Later. The other one that they had was just a little bit more almost neon pink and it looked a little intimidating to me to be honest. Again, you've got the super cute packaging here. I really am a sucker for all things adorable. And then when you open it up, there is the color in the pan. Now, it goes from 0 to 60 real quick. So you got to be careful with this one. I am a fairly light skin tone and it was a bit much. Um, yeah, here it is on my finger. It's a beautiful color, but this is the kind that I think going in with like a duo fiber so that it doesn't pick up a ton of product might even be better. I had to go in with my leftover foundation on my foundation brush and just buff it out on top to try to tone it down a little bit. Luckily that worked, but it was looking pretty dramatic pretty darn quickly so just be warned and go in with a super light hand with that one. As for the blush stick duo these are a product that I've been wanting to try for quite some time but just having got around to it I didn't quite know what to pick so I was quite happy to see that they had already selected the shades for me here. So it comes with a blush and a highlighter and I don't know what the shade names are what are they? The blush is 25.8, and the highlighter, or the light stick as they call it, is Star Bright. So talk about the blush first. These are really nice, sturdy, retractable products, and then just swatching it, you get quite a bit of color just in one or two little passes, and then they do blend out very nicely. There, there. So this is a much more subtle shade than the powder blush, and I quite like that. Uh, just makes it a little bit more user friendly to use uh, and less liability. Now, the highlighting stick. This one is pretty darn intense, but my god, is it ever gorgeous. So there it is, obviously, there. It is the highlighter that I'm wearing today, and I will say I applied my makeup nine and a half hours ago at this point, and it is still holding up really well. I didn't touch it up at all before I sat down to film this, so that highlight is from nine and a half hours ago, and it is just this. I didn't put any powder on top of it. Um, so I am super impressed with these, and these are products that I would like to get more of from their line, especially if they have 
more of like a contouring shade because they're so easy to work with. They're super creamy, blend so easily, and I just, I really, really like them. The Duo is $14, and the powder, if I didn't say, the powder is eight. If you're to buy the entire collection, there is also a skincare set that comes with that, which you can also buy separately for $24. I didn't opt to buy that, but in there you get a lip scrub, a strawberry seed oil, and a strawberry milk. I don't like the word milk. I don't know why, I just don't. I prefer moist over milk, but at any rate, that's not why I didn't buy it. I just I didn't buy it because I already bought them in the watermelon, so I have the watermelon seed oil and the watermelon milk, um, and I don't need any more lip scrubs in my life. I have like three on the go and I don't need any more right now, so I opted not to pick those up. However, I did pick up the two ultra glossy lips that come in, the pro in this package collection. So again, super, super adorable packaging. Um, I love that they can commit to a theme, like I really do appreciate that. It just makes my little heart happy. So this one is in the shade Berry Good, and it is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. In the past, I have not enjoyed these ultra glossy lips all that much, and I just wanted to give it a try again, see if they've, you know, kicked things up a little bit. I am quite happy with this one. I'm not wild, honestly, I'm not wild on the brush tip applicator. I just, I much prefer a doe foot. This just, I don't know, somehow, and that just might be the snob in me, but somehow that just looks cheap. What I will say though, is that it is nice and sturdy. I do appreciate the length of it. Like if you're gonna put a brush in there, make it nice and squat like that so that it's not like flip flopping all over the place. You can actually get a lot of precision out of this. So I don't hate it. I just would have preferred a doe foot because I'm just a doe foot kind of person, I guess. Um, so this one I do quite like. The other shade is Easy Bake. And I thought that it was gonna be like a nice, pretty pink with a little tiny bit of shimmer in there. I wouldn't even say that it's like glittery or metallic looking. There's just like a little tiny bit of micro glitter, but it's so sheer that it just, doesn't show up to play at all. I'm gonna put it on over on this side of my hand and show you. So there it is there. <laughs> on my hand you can see like a tiny bit of pink, but once you apply it to the lips it's really just like a clear gloss. So mm, I'm not a huge fan on this one. I'll probably end up giving it to my daughter to be honest, but this is one that I would continue to wear because I do think it's really pretty and I really am enjoying this sort of juicy, wet looking lip thing that's going on right now, I'm, I'm down for that. So these are sort of winners. I like the one shade, don't really like the other. The formula itself is nice, like it's not super sticky, it doesn't camp out in the corners of my mouth, it's not super long wearing, I don't expect it to be. Overall it is a very comfortable lip gloss, it's just I don't really want to wear a clear lip gloss, so there's that. Now, it's not part of the collection, but I did pick up one of their mascaras as well, the Volumizing Mascara, and I got it in the shade Brownie Points. So I got a nice brown mascara. It is what I have on my eyes right now. It has a wand, very reminiscent to the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, that nice hourglass wand there. It doesn't have a very wet formula, which personally I appreciate. I do like a drier formula. I do think that it is quite nice on the lashes. It does lift them and curl them nicely and it does add good volume. For $8, I think it's excellent value. When I'm looking at my lashes now, nine and a half hours later, nothing has flaked down. I am a little bit sweaty though because it's hot as balls in my room. <coughs> nothing has transferred down, nothing is smudged, but my lashes aren't quite as like as they were earlier on today. So it doesn't hold the curl quite as well as some other mascaras, but honestly, it's not a complaint for me. It's still evident that it's on there. It is still adding a bit of volume. And again, for $8, you really can't go wrong. 
And that's all I really have to say. Like I said, this isn't really a full review. I've kind of given my thoughts as we've gone along. I am a fan of the palette. I'm a little concerned that the Jelly Much is going to dry out within a month or two. Um, the blush sticks like these here are the absolute winner for me. Like I said, I want to get more because I really like the way these look on the skin and I love their longevity. So of all the things in this collection, these are definitely like high key the winner for me. Okay guys, <coughs> I'm losing my voice. I'm trying to film as much as I can before we go away to the cottage and then I have surgery. Um, so <laughs> I'm trying but uh, my voice is going. So that's my cue to wrap it up. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I will see you guys in my next video. And until then, just be a decent human being. Bye for now.